Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather and this is Create Your Own Cozy. ever have one of those days or weeks where you just cannot find motivation to get stuff done that was kind of me this week I had a birthday on Monday and I gave myself permission to kind of schedule nothing and I kind of had a crummy day no fault of anybody around me I just was in one of those moods apparently being three years away from 50 kind of hit me hard um, but the good thing is I woke up the next day and felt much, much better, but it was Valentine's Day and I was already two days behind in my week. So on Wednesday, I tried to get this video started and I just, I was not feeling it. What do you guys do when you're not feeling it, but you know that you need to do something and want to do something? So listen, this is not the solution for everything but I happen to have some birthday money so I went and bought from my local stockist the some items from the new IOD spring release and let's just say I felt a little bit more motivated to be creative one of my favorite things that I knew I was going to get right away was this mold called toadstool listen mushrooms are selling mushrooms um i found out from my antique store anything with mushrooms on them are selling and i am loving these i also in today's video i'm gonna use the birds and the bees stamps um this really wasn't originally on my list but i went ahead and got these these are just two of the items that i got from the release if you want to follow me over on Facebook, I did a reel about all of the items that I ended up getting for myself for my birthday. And in this week's video, these are just the, the two items that I'll be using and you will see the others moving forward. So let's go ahead and get started. For my first three projects this week, I'm going to be using the new IOD stamp called Birds and the Bees that just got released with the new spring release. And I thrifted this picture frame a while back for $2. And then wanted to just kind of use um, some music I got from a thrifted music book. Um, initially, I was just going to use my permanent ink. And when you get new stamps from IOD, you do need to take a 220 grit sandpaper and just scuff up um, the brand new stamp so it has some grit to it so I'm just going to put um, some black ink on here and put it on the the music notes um, after I did this I felt like this whole project was a little boring with all with all the neutral tones can you believe it so I decided to add some color um, in the color farm fresh and my handy dandy prairie gray um, to paint very roughly some color over the stamp and then don't panic because when you put the stamp back on top of it it looks fabulous so what do you think do you think it was a good idea to add some color to this or did you like it the original stamped way
this picture frame had been in my booth um, on its own and didn't sell. So I decided to paint it two coats of Farm Fresh and then I did some wet distressing which kind of brought back some of that um, white underneath and some of the wood. Um, after that I decided I wanted to do a waxed look to this kind of like my big hutch in the basement was looking. So I did some clear wax over the top after that did some white wax and then I was done with the outside and needed to move on to the inside. I found a piece of just really thin wood that I had in my stash, cut it to size with my chop saw, and then decided it looked too new um, since I'd already done the work on the frame and just added some watered down antiquing wax to the very raw wood just to make it look like it wasn't freshly cut. And after that, decided to stamp on a bird. I was originally just gonna do this one step, but I did not like how it looked. The, the bird was um, a lot of black when I stamped it. So I decided to paint over that with white and then stamp over the top of that to get this final result. What do you guys think? I thrifted a set of four handmade yellow pottery plates a while back and thought that this huge gorgeous bee would look great in the center of one of those plates. I put it in the booth um, as is and they have not sold so I thought well let's add a little fun to it. So I got the permanent ink I was very careful with how I put it down. And again, guys, this is permanent ink. So I just made sure once I got it down, I did not move my hands at all. And I went over it carefully so that the detail could show. And then you'll see um, that I do take a risk. And I did this in another video and someone said, I went in there like a boss to make sure that that extra little spot um, showed up and I'm happy with this one. The last two projects I'm going to be using the new mold called Toadstool and guys I knew right away that I wanted this. I'm using some cornstarch to make sure that the clay doesn't stick in there too well and then I'm just using some DAS air dry clay in the color white. Got mine from Hobby Lobby. You can also get them from Amazon. I will have that in my Amazon storefront and a link for that will be in my description box. I make sure that I just make my toadstools and then while they're still wet, I'm using some tight bond glue to put on top of these canisters that just like in last week's video, I had already done the baking soda technique a bunch of YouTubers were doing and just never did anything with them. So I glued these on, let them dry overnight, and then I decided I wanted to paint these beauties farm fresh and did two coats of this beautiful, beautiful color on here. I ended up sealing it with DIY's Big Top. I was okay with a little bit of the sheen coming through and then I went over with white wax and I wanted those mushrooms to just pop and I am so happy with how these turned out.
For my last project today, I'm going to use some more mushroom molds and that yellow handmade plate again. Just glued these molds on with tight bound glue, um, but I painted them first because I didn't want the paint to get on the plate. And then I did seal it with Big Top. I was thinking of adding some wax to it was even going to try some dark wax just to kind of see if I like that, but I kind of liked it without any wax. So let me know in the comments below, how would you have finished this one? So what do you guys think? Did you guys have a favorite? I know my favorite had to be those mushroom canisters. Um, they might have to stay with me and I might make some different ones for my booth. I don't know. I know that mushrooms are really selling in the antique store. So I am motivated to find some more ways to add mushrooms to my thrifted items. I also did a little bit of work on this. I actually a little bit of work. I clear waxed and white waxed it. So I'm very happy with how she is turning out. It is nice to have almost the whole thing done. I still need to work on the sides, baby steps. Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys do when you guys are not motivated and not feeling it? Look, I know retail therapy is not the answer for everything. I'm just thankful that it happened to be the release week and I happen to have some birthday money. So guys, thank you so much for being here this week. I appreciate you guys. Um, if you are not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel, hitting that notification bell to all so that you know every time I upload a new video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite project was. And guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.